the clip you just saw was Sam Smith walking for Vivian Westwood doing Fashion Week and we're going to be talking about it. Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Timmy Boa and today we're going to be talking about Sam Smith. So I've seen this clip circulate. Sorry for the noise guys. I don't even know what to do. I'm, I live by like a busy road so there's not really anything I could do. So there might be a little bit of noise in the background so I apologize for that. But I've seen this clip surface on the internet of Sam Smith as he was walking for William Westwood in this very androgynous outfit um, I think he really provoked a lot of people with that outfit but one thing that because now people I know like we have the vote people just taking any chance to like correct people and try to make them believe their beliefs and we have the far right that's trying to do the opposite like pushing back and it's just a wild wild west like it's a is a war going on on social media. So I've seen this clip of Sam Smith circling around and people have had their opinions on not wanting to see him dressed like that and just yada 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 whatever. And as much as I don't, as much I'm not with using the term they and them and non-binary and all of that, I will say this and I'm probably gonna some of you guys are probably going to be a little bit confused based on the videos I've previously made about this subject but if it wasn't because of that movement I feel like men's fashion would have been as interesting as it is now and I'm not saying that men should be walking around like Sam Smith that's not what I'm saying that look that he wore was for a fashion show and we need to separate those two like there's fashion shows, designers Fashion shows are meant to have looks that are not bearable. Do you know what I mean? It's supposed to be interesting. It's supposed to be a little bit odd. It's supposed to be a little bit upside down. It's supposed to be something that get photographed and you stop reading through like Vogue magazine and look at it and like read it and understand the message behind the clothes. I'm not saying that every guy, sh I'm not saying any guy should walk like that on the street. That's not what I'm saying. Like, but if you want to do that, do you boo, whatever. But I just find it funny how people are taking that. I'm here for that look. I'm not. I actually, as much as I wouldn't wear a look like that. But for a fashion show, is it? It's interesting. Like, why would it? It doesn't bother me. That's what I'm trying to say. It doesn't bother me. And I think that another reason is that, and another reason I think it really provokes people. It's not because it's Sam Smith, I also think it's because he's on the bigger size. So it doesn't look as... People don't like to see a man of that size walk around like that. So I feel like that also makes it go on the headlines. Because if it was like a fit model walking like that on the runway, no one would be even be talking about it. It would be like a cool look. But because it's Sam Smith and he's on a plus, more of a plus size, and he's also an advocate for pronouncers that they, them, non-binary. I feel like he's really just getting all the shit thrown at him. And this really, really sad to see as well. But what I'm trying to say is also that with all these far lefties um, headlining with the pronouncers, I have also seen, noticed a big change when it comes to fashion, especially for men. And as I said before, men's fashion is at the most interesting time I feel like because before men's fashion was always predictable when it came to like, fact, like fashion weeks it was always in some way or another the same whereas for women it was different it also a lot of things repeat but for men it really just repeat itself like it was uh, yeah for a really long time I'd never really looked at men's fashion because I just found it predictable and boring whereas now even though I wouldn't wear all of the things it's just more interesting to see like the different looks and the way that will maybe tailor something that you yeah, may maybe seen in women's fashion but it's tailored for men's body like it's just different and it's interesting to look at but it's funny how to see it's funny to see how people are like just trying to um tear down Sam Smith it's not even funny I don't even know what to say is it funny is it irritating I'm like I feel sad in a way but it's also funny in a way like because we really just see the 
the far left and the far right just going at it at each other and that part is quite entertaining so I feel bad for Sam Smith because he's really catching the heat for everything even though there's so much that many more people doing the same thing like Harry Styles for a really long time I've seen that he switched up now like trying to look like a Try not to look so queer anymore, but Harry Styles did it for a really long time, and I'm actually I want to do a separate video about that, like how gay men are not really being, how gay men are not really being represented, and then a guy like Harry Styles copies the whole style and and the whole queer aesthetic, and then getting all the hype from that, and not the queer people like I'm gonna do a separate video from that it's just weird to see how people are going for Sam Smith and I actually like Sam Smith, Sam Smith doing that fashion show I'm not saying that I'm a fan of the, sh the, the clothing it is also Vivian Westwood maybe it will be a little bit different if it was another brand but it's just interesting to look at in a way that it is fashion week and we need to also let fashion week be art and, and we also need to allow it to be androgynous and fun without having politics involved in it that's what I'm trying to say as well so what do you guys think about fashion lately do you think that we should go back to being more like formal and conservative when it comes to menswear there has been a shift or do you guys like the new changes of menswear being more playful and having more and men's fashion having more of a spectrum than what it was before because before it was very... It was really dry. It was so hard. I don't even remember like at some point I used to purchase women clothing because it was just more interesting. There was like more fabrics and different ways to different designs and there was, it was just it added just something to my clothing whereas now I don't really need to do that I'm not really interested in women's fashion because now there's so much more for men's fashion but this video ended up being a lot more than I thought it would be if you guys have anything you want to say regarding what I just talked about in this video let me know I would like to hear your guys opinion and like and subscribe and I will see you in my next video Bye.